What's going on everybody? This is Polio Jr. And I just wanted to make a short video today because I was having a problem with uh, my Dell laptop and basically my battery was not charging at all. So if we go over here to the bottom right hand corner, uh, now it's working. It's charging completely fine. But about uh, 20 minutes, 30 minutes ago, uh, it was not. Uh, it was saying that no battery was detected and it had a little red X over it. So, and it was a brand new battery, so I didn't know what the hell was going on. So I'm just gonna go over just a, a couple methods that you can kind of go through the process of elimination with to get your battery working again. So uh, the one, the first, all I did was this first one and this worked out fantastic for me. And what you do is you turn off the laptop itself so we shut down, shut down the laptop. And from there, we disconnect the power cable in the back, which I'm doing right now. And this is an older Dell, but it does work on, uh, on newer Dells as well and other laptops that are not made by Dell either. So this is an older Dell Vo Vostro. And from there, what we do, so we unplug the AC adapter and then we take out the battery. And from there, we flip the laptop back over and open her up again. Sorry, I got one hand here. And what we do is we hold the main, we hold the power button for about 20 seconds. So you just go one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, you know, go up to uh, 20 seconds. Uh, after you're done that, let go of the power button and then let the laptop sit for about two to three minutes. Uh, after that, all you're going to do is just plug, uh, is plug the battery back in. And then after that, uh, plug the AC adapter back in. And that was all I had to do. That was it. So I think when you do that, you're actually releasing uh, some built up uh, energy, some like built up electricity within the laptop itself. So that first method uh, was the one that I did that worked immediately. So I was very, very pleased with that because I knew that it was a brand new battery and nothing was wrong with it. And then also, this was another one that I actually have uh, every once in a while with some customers. Uh, and this isn't all the time, but you typically want to make sure um, I universal chargers do work, but I've seen in many cases where uh, when you look on the back of the actual charger, uh, there's something here that says uh, the AC and DC output. So you, I mean, sorry, the, the DC output. So on the output DC, it says 19.5 volts and then 4.62 amps. That's what it says. I'm not sure if you can really read it there. So that's what, so this is delivering that to the laptop. So output going into here. So on the bottom of your laptop, you want to look at what the input is here and you want it to be exactly right. And if it's not exactly right, you want it to be very, very close. So this one is 19.5, 3.34. So there is a little bit of difference, but uh, for me, luckily, uh, it will still charge my battery and doesn't do anything to the motherboard. But uh, you typically do not want to use a universal. If the universal charger works, that's fantastic. Uh, if not, I would get the specific charger for that laptop. And a lot of times that also fixes the issue. So, um, so we did the first method, which is holding down the power button for about 20 seconds uh, with the battery and AC adapter out, uh, leaving the battery out for two minutes, two to three minutes, and then plugging the battery and AC adapter back in. Uh, also making sure that the uh, laptop charger is, uh, the, that the output of the charger itself and the input of the Dell or of any laptop are 
of if not very if not exactly the same then very very close so and then there's one last option that you can do that does work occasionally uh within uh windows itself and i'll be doing it through through windows 7 so i'll show you that in a second now the last option here is built into uh the win into the windows operating system and you can access device manager from any version of windows here so i'm just i just typed in device manager at the bottom here and going right to device manager you can search that uh, on windows 8 or any other uh windows after from 7 and up at least uh, and i believe vista as well so in here i'll try to make this as clear as possible here if i can uh, in here you go to the little plus sign on the left hand side and when you click that it expands and there's three options here and there's the Microsoft AC adapter the Microsoft ACPI dash compliant control method battery and then the Microsoft composite battery so this is the one if those first two methods didn't work then I would uninstall the uh, the second one. So it's the Microsoft ACPI uh, compliant control method battery. And with that, you just do uninstall right there. I'm not going to uninstall it because mine is working uh, excellent after the first attempt. So uninstall the Microsoft ACPI compliant control method battery. And then see, then restart the computer and see if that works for you. Uh, the other thing to keep in mind is to, um, if you are having problems charging your battery, is to make sure that you do have um, the actual manufacturer stuff. So if it's a Dell, uh, try and make sure you have an actual Dell battery and a, and a Dell charger. Make sure that the Dell, make sure that the charger is made specifically for that laptop so make sure you have the manufacturer battery make sure you have the manufacturer charger those two things uh, are definitely big sometimes you get generic batteries or generic chargers and a lot of times uh, they will not work don't get me wrong they do work a, a lot of times but there are uh, also a lot of times where they do not work as well uh, i hope this video was beneficial for you and good luck Thanks for watching.